Hi, I'm Paul Kasabian, I'm a structural engineer, and this is a tube. You've seen one before, and what's great about tubes is they're very good at taking torsion. And by that I mean if I hold one end and the other end and I twist, then the structure itself can carry that twist from one end to the other, from one hand to the other hand. And it's good at doing this because the forces from that twisting effect can travel around, sort of in a spiral, much like the way these are made, to get to the other end. And they can do that because they can travel around what we call a closed section. We don't mean closed as in capped. I mean closed as in the material goes all the way around. And it doesn't matter so much if that's a circle, like this one is, or a square or a rectangle, so much as it's, it goes all the way around. And the bigger the shape, the better it is at carrying torsion, because actually as the force goes around, it, it sort of has a bigger lever arm effect about the center of the area. So that's what's great about a closed section tube. So let's compare that to the same tube that I took, um, and I cut it. I put a slice down the middle, just it slightly popped open. And let's try the same thing, same material, close to being the same shape, but very delicately. I'm just going to put a simple, tiny effort of twist, and it's really just bending all over the place. The moment that section at the end isn't closed, we call this open as a section, the moment it's like that, is the moment it's really not good at taking torsion at all. And so it doesn't matter that, again, whether it's slightly circular, whether it's a little bit open or even a bit flat, it's really going to bend all over the place. And if you look at the ends here, as I'm doing the sort of twisting effect, those two points move sort of side to side from each other, right? So one option, if you have a situation like this, although it's not particularly great, but it's an option, is to take the sort of sliced open section, open those, but then only close the ends. You see this, I've kind of put sort of end cap, let's call it. So let's not call it closed to get confused, but I can end cap at either end. And hopefully you can see as I'm, I'm putting some twist about the same as I put into the previous open section. And it's doing better, not great, because you can see some movement here, but better. And um, the interesting thing here is that this area down here is a little weak. And also there's huge forces all kind of trying to go through the end. So this is the only one I've got of this. I'm actually going to try and break it. And I'm going to guess it's either going to bust out one of the caps at the end, or it's going to buckle uh, somewhere here in the middle where it's a bit flimsy. All right, so we got, oh, we, oh, we got both. Nice. We got like a buckle, not quite in the middle, but here near the end, and we actually split some of these bits apart at the end. So, so that was good. Ah, double buckle. There you go, either side. Nice symmetric. So, how can we be smart with um, torsion? Well, an interesting use is for cantilevers. There's sort of three ways of managing a cantilever uh, where something sticks out further than the support. You can either support it sort of grabbing the top and bottom along the same line as the cantilever itself. That's sort of option one of three. We can also do what we call give it a backspan, where we sort of support from below and hold down from above um, back here. So this is still supporting in the same line as the cantilever. Or, if you sort of look at my sort of push-pull here and picture that those are doing this directional movement but in, towards you and me, and that's a good example of torsion. So what we have here is two cantilevers just to make the point twice. Um, and they're going, connecting to this tube that's good at torsion. So now, these two cantilevers are supported without anything back here at all. No back support, no backspan, no clamping back here. But they're supported by the fact that I'm holding this tube stable and the, at either end, and that tube is carrying the load of the cantilevers uh, between you and me in torsion. So, that's the magic of torsion.